Very well. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Sensational. Is this the, the fight you expected, or did you expect to have to go in there a little bit longer with him? Um, no, no. I, I, you can um, ask anybody um, who was around me. I thought the second round would be the round that I would get him out of there. Um, I knew um, in the first round, if he left himself exposed, I'd be able to take advantage of anything. But I was also aware that this is a guy who's never been finished before. And he's really tough and really durable. So, you know, um, uh, I, I wasn't trying to get too um, tunnel vision and, you know, looking for anything. But um, I felt that with my pace um, that I would have been able to get him. Uh, whether it was standing or on the ground, I felt like I was going to be able to get him in the second round. Was there anything about him that surprised you in there, or was it all predictable? No, no. I mean, um, I didn't. <sighs> to be to be honest, I felt like um, actually that we did we prepare for everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, my coaches. You know, shout out Sensei Tom. You know what I'm saying? Everyone else who works with me, they did a really good job scouting him and, you know, developing drills for me to use. Um, and honestly, with the, the type of work that, you know, me and my coaches were doing, I kind of underperformed a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I was really gun shy in that first round, um, really um, tentative. Um, but, you know, uh, after, after he uh, sent that first big shot out, then it was like, okay, it's time to fight now. Let's go. It's time to wake up. So, um, uh, honestly, yeah, there wasn't a whole lot that was surprising once we were in there. Why do you think you were gun shy in the first? Um, for a multitude of reasons, I guess. I mean, you know, one, it's just like you always want to feel things out. You always want to get your range and your timing and everything like that. And... Um, I guess I just felt so prepared for this fight. I didn't want to do anything silly. I didn't want to make any goofy mistakes. Um, you know, I, a, a big thing is I didn't want to give up the takedown because I was too aggressive. You know what I'm saying? He's shown really explosive takedowns and really good top control. So I really just didn't want to give that up to him. Um, and then um, after I felt a couple of his shots and I was like, okay, I can defend this. And then, you know, and then I lost the first round, you know what I'm saying? It was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Now it's time to go. It's time to, you know, put everything we've been working on together. You know what I'm saying? In between rounds, you know, um, once again, my coach is telling me, he's like, hey, everything we've been working on is there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like, hey, it's okay. You can let your hands go a little bit. You can let your kicks go a little bit. Everything we're working on is there. Um, and so, you know, the second round, it was like, okay, come on, let's go. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, a little bit slower start than I would have liked, but, I mean, you know, who, who can argue with the results, you know what I mean? Right after the fight, you went up to one of the cameras, and it sounded like you were saying hello or saying something to someone, but we couldn't quite hear it. I don't think it was on the broadcast, yeah. so I wanted to give you a chance to maybe say hello oh, to that person. Well, thank you. Um, if I – there's a lot of people, so I'm going to run through it really fast, though, um, you know. Um, Hey, mom, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Miles, dad, I loves you. You know what I mean? Um, uh, all, all my sisters, Christina, Grace, Lindsay, Leah, uh, my nieces, Autumn, Savannah, uh, Summer, Aria, uh, Taco, Cam, um, and then did the kids I coach. That was a big one. Willow, Willow Lyle, she's about to go to Greece to compete in the Youth MMA World Championships. Shout out Willow. She's a little monster, 10 years old, super dynamic. You know, shout out my boy Lane, Lane Mayer. He's been training with me since he was five. He's a little killer. I love that dude to death. Um, you know, Sergey. Um, oh, oh, come on. <laughs> uh, Sawyer. Uh, it's, I, I could go on and on, you know, shout out, shout out Coach James, shout out Keith. <laughs> there's, there's so many people, you know, I'm a, I'm a blessed man, you know what I'm saying? I have a lot of really great people in my life. So, um, yeah, you know, you know who you are, you know what I mean? What do those kids, you said there was somebody going to the youth uh, competition, what do those kids teach you? Because I'm sure that they teach you something just as much as you teach them. M maybe more. They might teach me more, you know, because um, – you know, there's there's obviously the part where you have to break down techniques to, to explain them to, you know, younger people. Um, and then you have to really evaluate the technique. And, you know, sometimes you learn more about the technique when you're breaking it down for younger people. But also on top of that, it's just, um, 
uh, one, a couple things. Just um, seeing the courageousness that these, like, you know, what I do is tough for adults, you know what I'm saying? What I do is tough for me. And, you know, when you got this, like, young kid who's 10 years old and they're going and, you know, they're competing in front of all of these people, you know, and in the gym, they're training and they're working hard to get better, you know, um, you know, it's crazy because those kids, they look at me like I'm Superman, you know what I'm saying? Anytime I go fight, you know, I come back and they're they're all happy, you know, it, it, it's like I'm a superhero. But it, that look, you know what I'm saying, that pushes me more, you know what I'm saying? Because there's something intoxicating about that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I love to be somebody that these kids can look up to, you know what I'm saying? I love to be um, somebody that motivates these guys and, you know, lets them know that they can go after their dreams, you know what I'm saying? So it is kind of like we feed off of um each other you know what i'm saying if it weren't for i have a very small kids class uh, of kids that i coach um at carolina combat sports but um if it wasn't for those specific kids i don't know if i'd even coach kids class you know what i'm saying that's just how much those kids mean to me so um yeah no I, teaching kids classes made me a better fighter and a better human being you know Last question for me. Um, I know you said you didn't have an opponent you wanted to call out, but when would you like to get back in there? December. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, one more before the end of the year would be cool. Um, when, is the, when is the UFC 300 card? We don't know yet. You don't know yet? Dang. Sometime next year. Sometime next year. So I got to get at least one more fight so I can sneak my way onto the UFC 300 card. Also, I, should, I meant to do this in the cage. I'm trying to go to the, 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 the F1 race in Las Vegas. So if there's anyone who has any connections, uh, F1, if you can hear me, <laughs> put your boy on the grid. Whoever's putting together the Las Vegas Grand Prix, come on, hook your boy up. You know what I'm saying? I'm the biggest F1 fan in the UFC. <laughs> come on, man. But, um, yeah, sorry. Sorry, That's okay. I got off topic. That's all right. This is your platform, so we'll tag him when we okay. post this. Okay, please. <laughs> I would yeah. appreciate that greatly. Congrats on the win, my man. Thank you, brother. I like the I like the butcher nickname. How do we get to that? Because don't get me wrong, King of the Apex is kind of neat, but it's yeah. too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, King of the Apex. I mean, that's just something. That's just that's just what I am. You know what I'm saying? Like once again, um, you know, uh, I've, I've spent a lot of time here at the Apex, whether it's training, you know, being on the Ultimate Fighter, to you know having fights here. Um, I've spent a ton of time in the Apex. I'm really comfortable here. Um, but I, I would say um, just when I got the, the nickname Pooh Bear, that was when I was just starting to get into things. And, you know, I was bigger, you know what I'm saying? I was a little bit fluffier, you know. I was still trying to figure out, you know, who I was as a fighter. And then, um, you know, life changes, you know what I'm saying? Who I was as a person was changing, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I, I'm a big Benny the Butcher fan, you know what I'm saying? I, I listen to his music on repeat, getting ready for it. And then... Um, that's just kind of the energy I bring to fights now, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a, I don't fight as a, like a happy-go-lucky kid anymore trying to figure out how far I can take this. I'm fighting as a grown man trying to provide for my family, you know what I'm saying? Like if you sign the contract, it's not just a competition to see who's better, it's a competition to see who gets to feed their family, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's the mentality I bring when I get into the cage, you know what I'm saying? Like five wins in the UFC, four finishes, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm looking for people's necks. I'm looking to knock them out, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking to, 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 to get the kill and bring their head home as a trophy, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's really what it, it's been. It's been people who know me have been known that I've been calling myself the butcher for a little bit. It's just I finally got around to telling Heidi. <laughs> I finally got around to tell the UFC I changed my nickname, so uh, that's why you saw it here for the first time. Excellent. And uh, what have, can you attribute it to? I know a lot of things are coming together. We've seen your evolution from the ultimate fight. You know, like, mm -hmm. it's just been, like, building and building and building. And even down to, like, just the confidence for, for the media day. We saw mm -hmm. you with the shades on and the new look, the new color. Yeah. Like, what, what's really clicking? I mean, it also that Charlotte one had to really just – notch you know multiple notches uh, level up um well it, 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 it's crazy because you know everything is happening so fast but this is about this has been something you know i've been dreaming about and i've been seeing in my head for a long time you know what i mean and so um you know i mean everything everything i'm doing is just kind of like you know like the glasses 
you know, it's just something I thought was was fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got the glasses. I said, man, I look good in these glasses, baby. You know what I'm saying? Decided, you know, bring them to the media. You know, um, that shirt I got. Shout out to my little sister. She bought me that shirt. You know what I'm saying? We we're going to uh, UFC Nashville. I said, Grace, I need something. I need something to wear. I don't know how to dress myself, you know what I'm saying? So I got to get one of my sisters or my old lady to get me something. So she got me that nice shirt. I said, this is way better than anything I would have got, you know what I mean? So, uh, and then, uh, you know, like, the, even the hair, like, that was, I cut my hair after I lost to Renat because, you know, my hair was a wind streak thing. Um, but, um, you know, my sisters, they, they were just like, they, they, they were like, hey, you know, you don't have any hair. You know, you should let us dye it blonde. You know, it'd be funny. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We did it as a joke, but then we dyed the hair, and I said, poof, I look kind of good. <laughs> so, you know, we kept it, and, uh, you know, it's, it's all about the vibe and the energy, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, try to keep good vibes, try to keep good energy, you know what I'm saying? We keep on working, keep on growing, keep on getting better, and keep on climbing up in every aspect of the game, you know what I'm saying? Excellent. Thank you, sir. Can't wait to see what's next for the Butcher. Yes, sir. Congrats the, on the win. Yeah, come on, the Butcher's coming, baby. All right. Hey, thank y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day, yeah?